Hi, so uh, this is re in response to Lloyd's video uh, point about drawing swords. Now, I don't have a proper sword with me, but I do have this machete. Very handy tool when you live in the woods. Uh, and his point was basically that when you draw a sword in Hollywood, it goes shing! And in real life, they don't really make that sound. Um, so I have a regular, um, I'm sure machine-made, uh, 22-inch machete that I got, I believe it was at, uh, Tractor Supply several years ago with a, I suppose this is canvas sheath or scabbard, and it's got these little metal, uh, metal fasteners, but they don't really, they don't contact the blade. Uh, as you can see, when I fold it over, there's quite a bit of extra room there. Now, Hopefully this my camera can uh, pick up this sound. So it is kind of a shing sound, but it's kind of subtle. So let's see if I draw it a little faster. A little bit of a shing. Yeah. So it's definitely not the exaggerated shing sound in Hollywood um, or in video games. Uh, I used to play Morrowind a little bit, and uh, I remembered any time you would put a sword away, especially like a big one, like the Claymore, it would uh, make kind of this <laughs> sound. Um, so yeah, as opposed to I put this one away. Kind of a kind of a cloth sound with a little bit of a shing in there, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's. Uh, Maybe it's just the texture of the, the blade. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's, I don't know, maybe a little bit rough, because it's, uh, you know, it's not a forged blade, it's machine made, and just about anything going across it will make that sound. See, so it kind of makes a whing sound. Cardboard. So, pretty much no matter what you rub against it, there's going to be a slight shing sound. But, uh, definitely not the exaggerated one in Hollywood, or in most video games, but, uh, you can see where they got the inspiration, at least. So, yeah, that's it.